Well, it could be a breakthrough for curing blindness. A Long Island man who lost his vision says he's starting to see again after taking part in a revolutionary gene editing trial to try and restore patients' eyesight. Dane Arshin caught up with him to talk about his progress thus far. My central vision was very obscured. It was probably the size of varying between a Q-tip and dime. And now Michael Kalberer says his surgically treated right eye no longer experiences an underwater sensation. Also, the circumference of his vision in that eye is now closer to the size of a quarter. I've also started to see changes in light perception. Things like silhouettes of objects like my fork or food on a plate and even color. We first introduced you to Michael in May. He spoke to us about being the second participant in the world in a groundbreaking medical trial designed to try and restore vision to visually impaired patients. The study involves the revolutionary gene editing technique called CRISPR, which allows scientists to make precise changes in DNA. Michael, who lives on Long Island, reflected on one of the most impactful moments for him a few months back when he he was in the car with a friend. I said, I see pink. And she's driving, she pulls over and she says, yeah, you see the sunset. In studies done to date with CRISPR, doctors take cells out of the body, edit them in a lab, and then infuse those edited cells back into patients. This is the first time scientists are using CRISPR to edit DNA when it's still inside patients' bodies. Do you see me now? Yes. What do you see? Your hair, but I can't see your facial features. What color is my hair? Brown. You're right. For Michael, who was born with cerebral palsy, this is life-changing. He shared videos with us of him picking up and drinking from a glass, something he couldn't do easily just last year. My visual field was so constricted that I, my muscles would tense up and I would tense up when I was trying not to spill it. I can grab it a little bit easier because my eyes relax my brain. Dr. Eric Pierce, one of the trial investigators with Mass Eye and Ear, tells us in a statement, we're thrilled to see early signs of evidence that gene editing is working and functioning inside the body. This has never been done before and is a major step for science. Still striving to be my very best and to make sure that changes in my vision because progress isn't always linear don't cause alterations in my ad attitude or work ethic. The next step is for Michael to continue testing at Mass Eye and Air to track progress in vision and the safety of this trial. The hope is for this CRISPR treatment to become more widespread in the years to come. In Mineola, Long Island, Dana Orshin, Fox 5 News. That is incredible.